Do you like modern or traditional art? I think I prefer the artwork of the old days. I like the old-fashioned、uh, classic styles and aesthetics better than the contemporary ones. Do you like going to the gallery? Not particularly.、Um, I don't like the idea of wandering around in a spacious gallery, trying to locate the great pieces that I want to see, because I know full well that I can just Google it at home、uh, from the comfort of my couch. Did you like to draw when you were a kid? Very much so.、Um, I used to have a knack for drawing too. I remember taking out my sketchbook and drawing away for hours after I finished my homework. Do you want to be a painter? Not really. I don't think I have the talent or the discipline it takes to be a good painter. What made you happy when you were a child? I remember getting so excited whenever I got a day off from school, because the curriculum back then.、Um, Was pretty heavy, and、uh, going to school five days a week was a little bit too much to bear for a kid. What makes you happy when you study? Back in the days, I would get so pleased with myself when I managed to solve a difficult math problem or finish my literature essay, often right before the deadline. Does buying things make you happy? To tell you the truth, it used to be. When I was younger,、um, I always considered、uh, shopping the best form of therapy, and a brand new pair of heels never failed to put a smile on my face. But I'm over that now, and、uh, material possessions no longer have that much impact on me. Do you think it is important for you to celebrate your birthday? Not at all. At this age, I might、um, throw a party to have an excuse to dress to the nines and go out for、um, a nice dinner at a fancy restaurant.、Um, but I think, for the most part, I'm over celebrating the day I was born. What color makes you uncomfortable in your room? To be honest,、um, I'm not too fond of the. Gray color of my wardrobe, as it looks too sad and boring. Was it easy for you to concentrate when you were small? As a matter of fact, it was.、Um, I was excellent at blocking out all the external distractions, like、uh, family watching TV or friends chit-chatting nearby. I'm proud to say that I hardly lost my focus when it's study time. When was the last time you had a day off? I can't remember exactly. As a freelancer, I work every single day of the week, even on weekends. So、um, I haven't had a proper day off in a while now. If you have a day off tomorrow, what will you do? If I got tomorrow off, I would go on a trip to the outskirts of Hanoi to.、Um, Get some fresh air and take a break from my hectic schedules. Do you think your weekends are long enough? To tell you the truth, I wish my weekend were a bit longer. I'm quite fond of the idea of a, a three-day weekend,、um, which has been floating around in the corporate world recently. Do you like traveling by car when you were a child? No, not at all. I would get carsick so bad I dreaded having to go anywhere by car. Do you want to be a driver or passenger? I would choose to be the passenger any day of the week.、Um, I just can't take the overwhelming stress of being behind the wheel. Do you like to sit in the front or back when traveling by car? To be honest, it wouldn't matter to me where I sit in a car as long as it's not in the driver's seat. But if I were to choose between the front and back, I think I would go with the back seat、uh, because there's more room to stretch.
How do you stay healthy? I try my best not only to maintain a well-balanced diet, but also to exercise regularly. And when it comes to my meals, I eat a lot of vegetables and fruit. While refraining from consuming unhealthy dishes and ingredients such as fast food or refined sugar. What exercise do you prefer to do? I do quite a few types of exercises to keep fit, including Pilates, yoga, and pole dancing.、Um, I guess I prefer light exercises that、uh, help improve. My posture and flexibility. How often do you exercise? It depends on my schedules, which can be incredibly hectic at times. But generally, I make a point of working out at least twice a week. Is it easy for people to exercise in your country? It is getting easier and easier for Vietnamese people to exercise these days. I believe. Not only are fully equipped gyms getting opened regularly, but equipment pieces like、uh, push-up bars or sit-up benches are also being installed at、uh, public parks for citizens to use. Do you wear T-shirts with logos on them? Never.、Um, T-shirts happen to be a staple in my wardrobe, but I only wear plain pieces or those with clever slogans on them. I find、uh, clothing items, not just T-shirts with logos,、um, greatly tacky. What are the differences between older people wearing T-shirts and young people wearing T-shirts? Good question.、Um, I think the seniors. Wear T-shirts for the convenience and comfort, whereas young generations choose this particular item for its style. That's why the latter tend to go for、um, bold colors and elaborate patterns. Would you buy T-shirts as souvenirs on vacation? Not if I can help it. I personally don't like T-shirts. Sold at、uh, popular tourist attractions because I think the material is of low quality, while the price is unreasonably high. Do you usually carry a bag? All the time. A bag is probably a must-have whenever I have to go out because I need a place to hold my wallet, my phone, and all the items I might need when I'm out and about. What kind of bag would you use when traveling? If it's a short trip,、um, a medium-sized duffel bag is all I need to carry my belongings. But if it's a longer one, like a week or two,、um, I use a tote bag for all my necessities, like phones and wallets, while all my clothes are packed in my suitcase. Did you use a backpack when you were a child? As a matter of fact, I did.、Um, I believe it was the most common type of bag for kids my age at the time. But I only、um, carried a backpack to school. I don't remember bringing、um, a bag of any sort when I was just. Out, like、uh, to the park or the mall. Do you usually fix broken things yourself at home? Almost never, if I'm being honest. These days, repair services are available 24/7. So, if my TV or fridge gets broken,、uh, I just pick up my phone and call for a handyman. Can you fix things like broken phones or clogged toilet drains? I'm afraid not.、Um, I often pay to have them fixed by professionals instead of going through all the trouble myself. Do you think it's necessary to learn how to fix things yourself? Truth be told, I think it's quite useful if you know to do some simple repair work around the house. 
But at the same time, in the modern world, I think it's acceptable if we don't, since it's so easy to just call for a handyman whenever you need. Did anyone teach you how to fix things? My uncle, who was a skilled electrician, um, once taught me how to change a light bulb safely when I was little. What will you do if something cannot be fixed? If an item couldn't be fixed by any means,、um, I simply would just go to the store、um, to buy a new one. Have you ever given chocolate to someone as a gift? Yes, I believe I have given chocolate as presents for my friends or family members at least once or twice before. Is chocolate popular in your country? Yes, the sweet treat is massively popular all across Vietnam, especially in big cities like Hanoi or Saigon. Why do you think chocolate is popular around the world? I think the main reason is that not only does it taste wonderful, but it also makes for a nice present、um, for people around us to show our affection and love towards them. Would you like to make your own ice cream? That would be awesome. I would love to make my signature ice cream using all of my favorite ingredients, including peanut butter, cheese, and macadamias. Would you choose a snack because of its taste or because it's healthy? On principle, I try to always eat healthy foods, be it the main meal or a, an afternoon snack. But from time to time, I do go for、uh, some salty potato chips to satisfy my craving. Do you think it is healthy for you to eat snacks? I think it can be、um, if I carefully choose the foods that are good for my health, like、um, nuts or unsweetened yogurt. Is it hard to see your friends these days? It really is. Everyone is usually swamped with work during the week. Plus, all of my friends are married with kids, so it's almost impossible to find time to meet up. Have you ever helped someone who got lost? Not to my recollection.、Um, since I'm not good with directions myself, I don't think I have ever been of help. To a passerby who lost their way. What kinds of household chores do you dislike doing? I absolutely dread cleaning and taking out the trash because I find it gross to touch filthy dishes and dirty items. Did you cook when you were young? To tell you the truth, I hardly ever cooked. My mom was and still is、uh, an excellent cook. So she loved preparing meals for our family, and、uh, since she enjoyed doing things、um, her own way, she didn't really ask for my help in the kitchen. Are you an ambitious person? I would like to think I am.、Uh, I make a point of setting big goals for myself. And I strive to achieve them both、um, in my personal life and at work. What are your career ambitions or goals? I aim to make a name for myself in my field, which is marketing,、um, because I hope to collaborate with big brands,、uh, big commercial brands like Samsung or Zara,、um, and work on high-profile PR projects. What were your ambitions when you were a child? When I was little, my dreams were so small and mediocre. I used to want to become a baker with、um, a little kiosk stationed in front of a school, so that I could sell cakes and other baked goods to school children every day. What do you think you need to improve to be better at your job? I think in order for me to excel at my job, I need to get better at managing time. 
As I often work on more than one project at a time, my hours need to be、um, allocated more efficiently. How often do you go to the library? I think I have only been to the library a dozen times in my entire life, especially now that information is readily available online. I just go on to the internet when I need to find an article, a research, a research paper, or even a book. Did you go to the library when you were a child? I did. If I remember correctly,、um, I went to the library from time to time to borrow magazines and novels when I was out of materials to read at home. How common is it for children to visit libraries in your country? To tell you the truth, it's not that common. Vietnamese kids seem to、um, prefer outdoors extracurricular activities like playing soccer to going to the library. What kinds of items do you usually find? I tend to mind my own business when I'm out, and I rarely pay attention to the surroundings too much. So I don't often find things that、uh, other people might have left behind. But from time to time, I do notice、um, keys or bus passes discarded. On the sidewalk. What do you do when you find something? If it's something of value, like a phone or a wallet, I bring it to the authority so they can keep the item safe while trying to locate it, its owner.、Uh, for example, if、uh, I found it on the street, I go to the nearest police station, and if I found it in the mall. I would report to the management office. Have you ever lost anything that was found by others? From time to time, I would lose my bike keys at parking lots, and on several occasions, I was lucky enough to have it returned to me by the guards when I went back to look for it. Do you check yourself when you decide to buy a mirror? As a matter of fact, I do.、Um, I love checking myself out in the mirror whenever I got the chance, especially when I'm buying one. What kind of music do you listen to when you're alone? It depends on my mood at that particular moment, but、uh, more often than not, I tend to listen to contemporary pop songs when I'm by myself. Do you and your friends like the same kind of music? I don't think so. I have such a weird taste in music. I have never seen anyone with a playlist even remotely similar to mine. Do you enjoy the same type of music now as you did in the past? No, my preferences have completely changed over the years.、Um, I used to like upbeat songs that you can dance to. Now I prefer、um, ballads with slow melodies and meaningful lyrics. Are there any instruments you would like to see in a concert? I love to see the piano at a live concert. I find the sound soft and soothing, much more to my liking than other instruments like、uh, the saxophone or the guitar. If you had a chance to meet a singer, who would it be? If I were given a chance, I would love to meet Taylor Swift, who is probably the biggest. Pop star on the planet at the moment. She's so talented; she could turn any topic, no matter how mundane, into a big hit. Does your name have any special meaning? I don't think so. My name, when translated into English, literally means page, as in a page of a book. As far as names go, I bet it couldn't get any mediocre than that. How did your parents choose your name? It's such a sweet story. They decided to name me after a character they both loved in their favorite book, whose title I completely forgot. Unfortunately. Is there anyone in your family that has the same name as you? 
I'm pretty sure uh, I'm the only one named Trang in my extended family, both on my mom's and dad's side. I think it's a norm in Vietnamese culture to avoid giving different family members the same name. What will you name your child? I haven't really thought about it since I'm not planning to have kids anytime soon. But when the day comes, um, I probably follow my parents' footstep and name him or her after my favorite character in a movie or a book. Are there any old buildings you want to see in the future? Why? Hmm, I honestly don't know. Maybe I'll check out some ancient churches and cathedrals in Europe since the continent is obviously known for those magnificent structures. Is the place you are living right now suitable for a family with children? Absolutely. I think the neighborhood where I live is very kid-friendly. There are an elementary school and a middle school nearby and all the essential services like uh, markets and drugstores are all within walking distance. Do you want to change anything about it? Not really. I'm pretty pleased with the way things are right now, from location to services and amenities. So there's nothing I would change. Are there many age groups in your area? I believe there are residents of all ages in my neighborhood. I have seen everyone from babies and toddlers to teenagers and middle-aged men and women to the elderly. Would you leave your keys when there were neighbors in your house? You mean leaving my keys to them while I go out? Um, probably not. We're on friendly terms, but I'm afraid we're not that close. Did you like solving puzzles when you were a child? Yes, I used to fight with my sister over the Sudoku section in the weekly teen magazine we subscribe to all the time. Do you like number or word puzzles? Which is more difficult for you? As an adult, I prefer word puzzles, and my absolute favorites include uh, word search and crosswords. Meanwhile, I find um, number puzzles too hard to solve. Do you prefer solving puzzles when traveling? Yeah, that's a good way to kill time when I'm on the train or bus. Um, plus, it, uh, it helps take my mind off any problems I'm dealing with in life. Do you think it is good for old people to do puzzles? I think it can be hugely beneficial for the elderly because it keeps the brain active which reduces the risk of dementia or other diseases often linked to old age. Have you ever read a novel that has been adapted into a film? As a matter of fact, I have. Um, the most popular series of books I have ever read is uh, probably Harry Potter, and it has been turned into an incredibly successful movie franchise. How have you applied science in your life? Let me see. Um, I would say science is involved in a wide range of tasks I do on a daily basis. And the most obvious example is I use electricity uh, for lighting, cooking, and uh, using all the household appliances. Have you ever studied singing? No, I haven't. Um, singing was part of the compulsory uh, music class I had in school. But other than that, I, I have never had a professional singing lesson. Where is your favorite place to sit? Oh, what an unusual question. I guess my favorite spot to sit is the couch in my living room uh, because it feels so comfortable sitting with both of my feet up. Do you always sit down for a long time? Not always. 
I try to、uh, get up once in a while to stretch out, rather than gluing myself to the desk for a prolonged period of time. Do you feel sleepy when you are sitting down? No, I'm more likely to doze off、uh, while I'm lying down, but not so much when I'm sitting. When you were a kid, did you usually sit on the floor? If my memory serves me right, I used to sit on the floor all the time when I was little. I thought it's more convenient and fun、um, than to sit upright in a chair, for example. Do people around you use social media too much? Yes, I think some of my friends, colleagues, and family members spend way too much time on social networking sites. My、uh, mom, for example,、uh, is on Facebook all the time, always posting pictures and commenting on others' posts. Do you think that your friends use social networks more than you do? Considerably more.、Um, I can see that、um, most of them are online every day, while、uh, I'm almost off the grid completely, except for、uh, the occasional post to share my work. Do you want to work in social media in the future? Someday I might.、Um, even though I'm not personally fond of it. I have to admit that social media has become an integral part of the modern world, so、uh, a, a career in that field might be the way to go. Should I have a lot of friends on social media? I would advise against that. If you ask me, what's the point of having、um, a thousand virtual friends on Facebook when you don't see them or can't ask for the help in real life? Did you study about stars and space at school? To be completely honest, I don't remember, but、um, I must have, since it's such an important subject. Do you enjoy watching films about outer space and stars? I'm somewhat interested in、um, documentaries where they present facts and figures, as well as、um, actual research and scientific knowledge. Um, but I'm not that big on sci-fi movies like Star Wars. Do you want to travel to space in the future? Not really. From the videos I saw and the articles I read about astronaut stories, it doesn't seem like a, a comfortable experience donning the heavy spacesuit、uh, and being in a zero gravity environment. Do you often stay up late? No, I keep a habit of、uh, getting to bed by 11 p.m. so I can get up early in the morning. I guess I'm more of an early bird than a、uh, night owl. What do you do when you stay up late? Once in a while, when I decide to stay up late, it's probably because I want to finish an episode of my、uh, favorite Netflix show or、uh, a chapter in a good book. Did you often stay up late when you were a child? Never.、Um, up until I started college, I always went to bed before 10 p.m. without fail, and、uh, I don't know if. It was because、uh, I ran out of things to do, or I was just afraid of the dark. Do you have a talent or something you are good at? I would say I'm somewhat good at pole dancing, at least as far as amateurs go. I have been pursuing this sport for one and a half years now, and、uh, I'm able to do a series of complicated and elaborate moves. Was it mastered recently or when you were young? As I said, I picked up pole dancing two years ago. As a kid, I didn't have any hidden talent whatsoever. Do you think your talent can be useful for your future work? Why? Maybe, maybe not.、Um, I haven't really thought about what I can do with this particular skill of mine, since I work in marketing and the two fields are not exactly related. Do you remember any primary school teacher? I think I remember most, if not all, of my teachers from elementary school. 
because、uh, we were stuck with one teacher who, by the way, taught all subjects uh, for uh, the whole year in every grade.、Um, it's hard to forget these beloved men and women. Did you want to be a teacher when you were young? I might have. I looked up to my teachers, and I did think that it's such a cool job to be able to impart your wisdom on young souls. Do you want to be a teacher now? I don't think so. To be honest,、um, I think teaching is not as exciting as working in business or marketing, for example, and、uh, the pay is not that appealing either. When were you first exposed to computers or tablets? If I remember correctly,、um, the first time I got to use a computer was in middle school, probably in seventh or eighth grade,、um, when my dad bought one. Have you ever got a watch as a gift? I don't think so. I might have gotten a few clocks、um, on my birthday when I was little. But everyone around me knows that I'm not、uh, much of a、uh, watch wearer, so no one has ever given me、uh, a watch as a gift. What would your life be like without computers, tablets? Absolutely miserable, to say the least. I wouldn't be able to communicate with my clients overseas without cutting-edge gadgets like smartphones, laptops, or tablets, which means I would almost completely be out of work. In what conditions would it be difficult for you to use a computer? I guess a computer would be virtually useless to me if there were no internet connections. Um, most of the software and applications I need to use for work are online, so、um, the task I would be able to perform on a disconnected device would be greatly limited. What kinds of apps would you like to use in the future? In the future, I would like to use voice-activated apps, which can. Perform the same task as now, like、uh, creating a document or giving directions, but with voice commands. Has television changed your life in any way? It probably has to some extent.、Um, thanks to television, I've been introduced to a wide range of shows and programs that are not only entertaining but also educational and informative. Uh, which really helped broaden my horizons. How have websites changed today compared to the past? They have changed remarkably. I have to say,、um, the design of websites today looks so much more pleasing aesthetically. Besides,、uh, it's super easy to navigate between pages and sections. In the old days,、uh, it's almost impossible to find all the functions. And、uh, have a smooth experience. Do you think looking for information on the internet or from books is better? I believe that in this day and age, it is tremendously more effective to search online since data are always updated constantly, and the breadth of human knowledge is readily at your fingertips. Would you change your plan if it rained? Highly likely. I tend to plan my day around the weather report. I would probably、um, stay inside and reschedule my plan if it started to rain. Do you get in the habit of checking the weather forecast? Yes, I always look at the weather forecast first thing in the morning after getting up, so I can、uh, plan my outfit as well as my day accordingly. Do you want to live in a different climate? I wish I could live in a cooler climate,、uh, like in、uh, South Korea.、Uh, due to global warming, the summer in Vietnam is fast becoming unbearable for me. Are there many wild animals in your country? There are indeed a wide variety of wild animals in Vietnam, from monkeys to elephants and. Tigers and lions. Do you like watching wild animals programs? 
I do.、Um, I enjoy watching a wildlife、uh, documentary on Netflix every now and then, as I'm fascinated with the way animals follow their instinct and thrive in their natural habitat. Which wild animal would you like to see in real life? I guess it would be great to、um, see a Komodo dragon in the flesh. It's the largest lizard species there is, to my knowledge. Did you like writing when you were a child? Why? Why not? As a matter of fact, I did.、Um, I used to write poems and short stories back in middle school. I even got some published. In a popular teen magazines and journals. What kinds of things do you write during a typical day? Typically,、um, I write a wide range of formats based on my clients' requirements on a daily basis. Some examples include、um, blog articles, social media posts, and、uh, customer testimonials, to name a few. Do you think the kinds of things you write will change in the future? Why? Why not? I do.、Um, as I work as a freelance content creator,、um, I always receive a large quantity of requests, and、uh, the types of writing I provide constantly change with my clients' demand. Do you prefer typing or writing things by hand? Why? I would choose typing on the keyboard over writing with a pen any day because it is remarkably faster and more convenient. Would you say that having good handwriting is important? I wouldn't say that it is absolutely critical to have beautiful handwriting, because in this day and age, we virtually only need to、uh, type on electronic devices.